I am soaring. I am flying. I am being everything I can be on this day and the next. I am soaring. I am flying. I am being everything I can be on this day and the next. I am soaring. I am flying. I am being everything I can be on this day and the next. I am soaring. I am flying. I am being everything I can be on this day and the next. I am soaring. I am flying. I am being everything I can be on this day and the next. I am soaring. I am flying. I am being everything I can be on this day and the next. I am. Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to the Aquarian Addicts, my platform to become your spiritual server. And welcome to your weekly soaring tarot video. <laughs> What's today? Today's the 8th, I believe. So that's going to be through the 14th, 2018. Is it the 8th? No, it's the 7th. I can't. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what day it is. It's the 8th, I guess. Anyways, this is your weekly soaring tarot video, guys. On Tuesday, normally I make it on Monday, but I was working yesterday and flipping up my schedule. But in any event, let's hop into this reading and see how you will soar and fly high this week. All right, guys. The takeoff card we actually have is the Queen of Stones or the Queen of Cups. This I really see as the way that you're going to take off this week is by recognizing and appreciating the Divine Feminine within you. We have a lot of core cards in this particular reading this week, so there's definitely going to be influence from outside people. So this could be, you know, this could easily be a Cancer or Scorpio or a Pisces that really reminds you to appreciate the Divine Feminine Energy. And really what I see this as is showing compassion for yourself this week. What I see this as is remembering that you have yin and yang to you. It's not just, we don't, we're not just male and female. We have both aspects to us. So the Queen of Cups this week is really signaling to this need of a deeper emotional nurturance that we're only going to need this week because we have some interesting transits this week, including today we have this opposition between the sun and Jupiter. So this is really definitely a time of like kind of getting deep into figuring out what we really want and our desires, but it's also going to require some patience and also is going to require this need to really be receptive to what's going on here. You know, the feminine energy is a receptive energy. Also, there's the feminine energy, it amplifies what you give it. So if you are giving yourself positive feedback, you're going to put out positive feedback into the world. If you're giving yourself negative feedback, you're going to put out negative feedback into the world. So this is really going to be a week of learning to balance and to really understand this divine feminine and divine masculine energy. The inner fears that we actually have in regards to this is that we actually have the king of pentacles in reverse. This is signaling to the fact that we have this sense of control that might be a little out of whack and might be even out of tune with where the universe is heading and where the universe is expanding. So we have to recalibrate the way that we control ourselves. It's interesting how this king here has the head of what I would consider to be a bison. And the bison is actually a totem animal of Scorpio, which is very interesting. And Scorpio is a feminine energy too. So this is even playing off this divine feminine energy, this divine feminine um, person here, this creature, how we are really, we really have to learn and understand that the past is rich with all these great resources, but there is incredible abundance in the present moment. And maybe we have some fears about actually manifesting our value in the current moment or even seeing and recognizing the value of the current moment there might be some inner fears when that comes along with that because we have controlled ourselves by a certain way for such a long time 
that now when we begin to expand, because Jupiter is about expanding, now that we're beginning to expand these deeper desires and these deeper wants, it might make us a little uncomfortable. Why? Because we have been told and taught that we're not supposed to want certain things or like certain things, but the fact of the matter is that we do. So we have to have the courage to move past these fears. The King of Pentacles is asking us to really look at the way that we have the sense of control and establishment within us and how can it be tweaked to better serve us and how can it be tweaked to really reflect that true value that we are all coming in to knowing during this time. In response to that fear, we actually have the King of Swords in reverse. So this literally signals to this whole idea of once we balance the divine feminine energy and really realize that, you know, things are, at least definitely on the exterior, things seem to be out of whack and out of balance. But once we begin to recognize and appreciate the divine feminine energy, we'll be able to come within our vessel and begin to really begin to manage that energy in a more productive way. And then the response to that fear is that while the king, this, the king of bows, the king of swords is in reverse, we're not going to have this fogginess. We actually are going to have this more clarity and vision and we actually will be able to move forward in the direction that we want to go. The bow, before it can propel forward, it moves back. So I want you to think about that, is that this week what you're, what's happening is that you are recognizing your true value and your true worth and you really are coming more to terms with what you truly want. But in order for you to propel forward, you have to pull back. This is almost even signaling, signaling to the fact that Jupiter is retrograde. Jupiter has to pull back before it can really propel forward, right? So this is really going to be a week of recognizing the beauty and the energies that we all have as far as like balancing this divine feminine and masculine aspects and also being receptive to change but in order to really propel forward we have to pull back first and then aim our target to what we truly want and what we truly desire inner support we actually have another court card we have this time the knight of pentacles Riding on top of a white bull, this is literally these deeper values. And you know, the sun is in Taurus right now, so this could be an earth sign though, mind you. So we have we have the Queen of Water, the Queen of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles, right? So that could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn that really plays a significant role in your life this week. We have the King of Air, so that could be a Gemini. A Libra or an Aquarius that plays a significant role in your life this week and then we also have the key, the Knight of Pentacles or the Knight of Drums which once again could be an earth sign a Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn that plays a really significant role in your life but I see the Knight of Pentacles though in this case is that there's going to be like this inner warrior that's going to come to your aid this week and is going to remind you of just how valuable and amazing and abundant you really are. And that even though it is reverse, we're going to, there's a reason why we have three of these court cards reverse and only one is upright. But interesting enough that the lift off card is upright. So if you take the time this week to have compassion for yourself, if you take the time this week to really show mercy on yourself too, and to really allow yourself to be receptive to this change, this inner change that's happening, all of these core cards will be able to turn upright. You will recognize your true value. You will know where to aim. And then you'll even have this deeper inner support where this aspect of you is kind of coming to your aid, riding on top of this white bull, letting you know you are powerful. You can do it. You are confident. You can manifest. You can move forward. And look what we have as far as external support. We have the Ace of Bows or the Ace of Swords. So literally communicating your value. We have to also consider that, you know, being, that Venus is in Gemini right now. So 
It's like things can seem like they're a bit all over the place. You know, you go from this idea to that idea and stuff like that. And you're trying to figure out what is my direction? Where am I going? Where is my destiny? We have to remember that North Node, really, you know, the energy, the planetary energy or celestial energy of destiny is in Leo. So what does your heart say? What does your heart say? You will know where to aim this bow once you really come into your heart space and really learn how to balance these energies and learn to alchemize as well. Learn to integrate the divine feminine and the divine masculine because I think we all can agree that things seem to be out of balance. But this week, the divine feminine energy is going to start to come more into balance with the divine masculine energy. And then we'll be able to really propel ourselves forward. What we're kind of resting into this week is actually the hangman. So there might be this sense that you're kind of at whim. You're kind of just being dragged along by the current of life. And you're just kind of like hanging there, right? Don't fight the current. There, I see, there's a lot of people, and I, I'm, I'm included in this. I've done it before. Where we try to fight the current of life and we try to swim upstream. And we strive and we struggle and we climb and we swim and we're just trying to go against this current. But really, what you want to do is kind of go with the flow. And even though you feel like you might just be hanging there, even if you feel like you might just be almost like this puppet, you know, just understand and have faith and trust in the universe that you're being guided in the right direction. Okay? That's kind of what we're resting into this week. And interesting enough, that the realization of all of this is that we actually have the Ace of Rods in reverse, mind you. So we have quite a few of reverse cards. We actually have more reverse cards than we have upright cards, which is not a bad thing. I think what this is really signaling to is the fact that we don't really know where life is heading. But so long as we follow our heart, we follow our passions, and we follow what really ignites our soul. What sets your soul on fire? You're going to really come more into awareness of this. What really sets your soul on fire? Okay? And while the Ace of Rods is in reverse, and that's like the overall card of, the, of this week, really what we're going to come into is like this epiphany that we really can manifest anything that we really want. And we really do have the magic to move things forward. But this does require some inner work. This does require some balancing of energies. This does require some faith that things are moving in the right direction. This does require some faith that even though sometimes it seems that things are pulling back, it's going to propel forward so much more. Right? This is really going to be a week of trust. And this is going to be a week of while other people are definitely going to play a factor. Because like I said, we have four core cards out of seven of the cards. We also have two aces and a major arcana card, which lets me know that this week is going to be super powerful. It's going to be a powerful week of intentions. It's going to be a powerful week of what you say, because words are spells. And it's going to be a powerful week of like really anything that you manifest this week is really destiny. It's, it's really going to be... It's going to be something spectacular and magical and amazing, okay? I want to look at the bottom card, just interesting here. We actually have the Eight of Cups or the Eight of Stones. So, in traditional tarot, this is really talking about leaving behind something that might, be, might have been an emotional burden and just kind of going on this bit of a journey. Having to leave behind old heartbreaks and these um really these old ways of being right here it shows this figure meditating under this statue here almost like a totem pole and she's holding this lotus flower with a bunch of dragonflies around her i see this as an emotional transformation i see this as you literally shedding this old you so by the time you come out the other end you have this new emotional healing in this great self. We also have to consider that Chiron, which has shifted from Pisces into Aries, has finally hit the, one, the first degree of Aries. So as far as healing goes, the healing to ourself has truly begun. Shed the past. 
Shed the old stuff. Shed the karma. Step into the new life. Step into the new you. Step into the new day. Step into this moment because you are abundant. You are prosperous. And you really can't move it forward. You don't need to have all the details. You don't need to know where everything is going right now. Trust and have faith. Let go of this need to try and control everything. You do have control, mind you. You do have some control. But let go of this need to try and know everything right now. Let go. Let go of the emotional baggage. You're here. You're watching this. You're alive right now. You're breathing. Okay? Especially if you're watching this right now, you are incredibly abundant. Don't you know that you have so much light in you that you can light a city? You can light more than a city. You can light the entire world with all the energy inside of you. You can light the entire galaxy with all the energy inside of you. Don't you know that? Leave behind these old doubts. These false expectations appearing real. They don't serve you. They don't serve you. What will serve you this week is learning how to balance the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Learning to be receptive to the change. Learning to kind of go with the flow and allowing this new sense of control of yourself to where you're not reacting as hostily to the outside world. But also knowing that you are really aiming for something quite spectacular. Be patient with yourself. You might not get it overnight. It's okay. You're not supposed to get it overnight. Be patient with yourself. You are attempting something miraculous. Okay? You don't have to rush it. Go at your own pace. I believe in you. That is your sword tarot reading for this week, my beautiful brothers and sisters. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you like a personal reading with me, you can follow the link to the AquariumAdams.com in the description below. And always remember, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to keep moving forward, to stay focused, stand. Yahoo! -hoo! Smile often. <laughs> oh.